Vladimir Putin has won another six-year term in Russia's presidential election and is on track to becoming the country's longest-serving leader. With nearly all of the votes counted, Putin has received over 76% of the vote, which marks a huge increase from the 64% vote he won in 2012. Putin's most vocal critic, Alexei Navalny, was barred from the ballot for legal reasons, and the nearest competitor in, election, in the election, Pavel Grudinin, won only 12% of the vote. CGTN's Alyosha Malenkovich has more. As predicted and expected, Vladimir Putin won a landslide victory on this year's presidential elections. The interesting thing is that the few of candidates were claiming, including Pavel Grudinin, that these elections were not fair that the opposition were not fairly represented in the, in the media, in the state-owned media, and that he participated in the elections only to try to point out uh, to the problems of this society, and according to them and many others from the opposition, there is a lot of problems in Russia, including corruption, including uh, poverty, despite the fact that Vladimir Putin was claiming uh, a couple of weeks ago that Russia uh, reduced the poverty for 50 percent, but yet 20 million of Russians still live below the poverty line. But anyway, uh, in the next six years, ahead of uh, Vladimir Putin's presidency, he has to face some very serious challenges, uh, particularly what people here are saying is, is that they want him to focus more on domestic, domestic problems and less on international, meaning foreign, foreign issues and foreign problems. But anyway, for the next six years, Vladimir Putin will stay put in the Kremlin. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Moscow.